partiers have found a new place to play. Their latest playground is a Costa Mesa Hilton Hotel, where the partying did get a little out of hand. John Schwada shows us. Shouting. Don't fight with you. Mixed with frustration. I don't care who you know. There's even flashing. It's all part of the Orange County party scene, busting out of the clubs and into the big hotels. This night, the Costa Mesa Hilton. 3,000 people, some dressed as shock, respond to flyers and club promotions and skip the usual bars and dance clubs to come here. It's almost at capacity, so get inside the clubhouse. Party producer Jordan Scott greets people, gives directions. Right down there. And offers lots of free tickets to friends. For others, getting in costs 25 bucks. 40 for VIP gold wristbands. <laughs> Scott's packed the Hilton Ballroom with on-stage dancers, a band, and DJs, but the room can only hold 2,000, so the squeeze is on. Another 1,000 spill out into the lobbies, even the hotel's garage. Security is kept in a whirl, but while things stay noisy, it's pretty peaceful. That is, until 2 a.m. That's when the hotel switches the bright lights on with the idea of turning the party off. Most take the hint and head for the exit. Once outside, some leave in cars and rental limos, but others are sticking around, wanting to get upstairs to where friends are holding room parties. But the hotel sets up a wall of security. An angry manager tries to tell everyone outside that they'll have to produce a room key and ID to get inside. A few try to talk or sneak their way back in. But it's no use. Next, there's pushing. Even some punches. Don't start grabbing the camera. The angry crowd finally blends into the night, with promoter Scott telling us that while the parties he produces need more space, mainstream hotels might not be the answer. John Schwada, Fox 11 News.